Hi guys, it's Mr B here and in this video we're going to be looking at triangles, looking at the different types of ones that we have and how we can recognise them. Some rules that all triangles have, so that's what we're going to go through first, okay? So, all triangles are 2D polygons, okay, and they have three sides. So, all triangles have three sides, and um, all the sides are straight as well, so you couldn't have a triangle where you've got two straight sides and then a curved side, okay? That's not a triangle. It has to have three straight sides. And um, it also has three interior angles. What we mean by interior angles is they're on the inside of the triangle, not on the outside like that, okay? So it has three interior angles. And what we also know about triangles is all the angles add up to 180 degrees. No matter what triangle it is, if you add up these three angles, they will come to 180. So you might have a 10, a 70, and a 100, something like that. All your angles would come to 180 degrees, no matter what triangle. So there are different types of triangles, so we're going to start looking at them now. Okay, so now we're looking at equilateral triangles. Now, equilateral triangles, all three sides are the same length. So this side here, this side here, and this side here, all the same length. Um, and all three interior angles, so the angles that we have here, they're all the same, and because we know that angle's inside a triangle, 80 degrees, uh, sorry, 180 degrees, that means we know that all these are 60 degrees. So all the sides are the same and all the angles, or the interior angles, sorry, on an equilateral triangle are the same. Now this one uh, makes it a regular polygon, okay? Because all the sides are equal, I mean, and all the angles are equal, the equilateral triangle is the only triangle that's a regular polygon. If you're not sure what a regular or regular polygons are, if you click up there, it'll take you to the video on those and you'll be able to see what that means. Now we're moving on to the isosceles triangle. Now an isosceles triangle, we spot these because they have two sides that are the same length, so the equilateral had three, isosceles has two, and they also have two interior angles that are the same, and these get called the base angles. So we've got, on this one, we've got two sides here that are the same, okay, this one's a bit longer, so this means it's an isosceles, and then these angles, which are called the base, okay, because they lead up to the point, will always be touching, okay, one of your sides is the same length and the longer side, okay? So it'll not be where the two sides are the same length are meeting. And those angles, I don't know, they could be 40 degrees and 40 degrees, okay? Or they could be 50 and 50, 60 and 60, they will be the same. So equilateral, three sides the same and three ang interior angles the same. Uh, isosceles triangle, we have two sides the same length and we have two interior angles that are the same as well. Now we're going to look at scaling triangles. Now scaling triangles, all the sides on a scaling triangle are different sides. So all these sides here are all different lengths, okay? And as well as that, all the in uh, angles on the inside are all different sizes as well. So this angle, that angle, and that angle will all be different amounts. So remember, it is a triangle. So when we add these up, they will still equal 180, but each one will be different, okay? So the easiest way to remember those three triangles, the only thing that's really different is the different amount of uh, sides and angles at the same. Equilateral has three the same, three sides, three interior angles. Um, an isosceles has two, two interior angles, two sides, and a scalene has none, okay? All of them are different. All the angles are different. So there's just one more triangle that we're going to have a look at. The last triangle that we're going to look at is a right angle triangle. Now, this is one of the easiest ones to spot, really. It's called a right angle triangle because it has a right angle in it, okay? Um, this type of triangle will also be either an isosceles or scalene, depending on the number of the sides and angles in it that are the same. And the diagonal opposite the right angle is called the hypotenuse, okay? Now, this is one of the easiest to spot because if the uh, angles are marked, we will obviously mark our right angles like this. If you're not sure what a right angle is, again, click up there. Um, videos for uh, different angles will be on there so you can have a look. So if it's marked, it's easy because it's got a right angle. We know this is a right angle triangle. But if it's not, obviously, a 90 degrees is an angle that's easier to spot than other angles. Um... It can be nice to say a scaling. This one is a scaling because all the uh, sides are different lengths. But if you had two sides that were the same length and a right angle, you would have an isosceles. Okay, so you just have to know it's a right angle triangle. Then you think of the rules for isosceles or scaling to out whether it's one of them. And this one, uh, that means this diagonal here, okay, is opposite 
the right angle. Okay, there's the right angle there. That's what we call the hypotenuse. Now that's used for some other maths um, that maybe you'll learn later on. Um, but that's what it actually is, the diagonal opposite the right angle. Hope you found that video useful guys and if you have please give it a thumbs up. Uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already you'll get notifications of any videos that I put up as and when I do. Please share it if you know anyone that will benefit from this and find it useful. And if you've got any questions or anything comment or use the Twitter or the Facebook page. Till next time, see you later.